Hey folks, this is Fred with Galaxy Note Videos and I'm going to show you how to speed up your Galaxy Note 3 without rooting or hacking the device. I uh, basically have two methods and the first one basically just involves freeing up some memory from the home button. Uh, and so what I mean by that is transitioning out of an application, you hit the home button, we can speed that up just a little bit. Uh, if you want to, and you're one of the uh, uh, desktop screens and you want to get to the main home button, you know, just speeding that up by again, freeing up some memory. Uh, now it's worth noting that you are able to do a significant more amount of speed boosting with the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, in this regard, and I'm talking about again without rooting or installing a launcher, which is the other method I'm going to show you in a few. But uh, on the Galaxy Note 2, um, uh, you could do a lot more, and what I mean by that is I'm talking about these window transitions. Uh, you know, TouchWiz is very slow and sluggish. I mean, if you're new to TouchWiz, you may not even notice the difference, but for those of you who do know, uh, TouchWiz kind of sucks, uh, it's just really laggy. Um, so what you're able to do on the Note 2 was to go into settings, uh, scroll down to developer options, and scroll down and disable these animations. So you turn that off, turn off the transition and the uh, uh, animator duration scale, and uh, you would see a nice boost. Now, you, can't really, the camera doesn't do it much justice, but there was a nice boost in performance and lag from doing that. However, on the Note 3, we don't really have that. Uh, I couldn't find developer options anywhere in any of the four new windows under settings. Uh, so if anybody knows anything that I don't know, uh, please leave a comment uh, in the uh, comment section. We would all love to know uh, about that. But anyway, in the meantime, what we're going to do to free up some space, uh, some memory from the home button, Samson uh, put on the Galaxy Note 3 this new uh, My Magazine app that pops up when you hit the home button now. And while it's beautiful, gorgeous, I don't really use it. Uh, so we're going to kill two birds with one stone by disabling this completely. Uh, so you just hit settings and open using the home key. Just uncheck that, and so now you don't have that uh, annoying thing pop up when you hit it. Uh, also, when you hit the home button, uh, this is a, uh, another little tip about it. If you double tap the home button, S Voice comes up. Uh, now, if you don't know, uh, S Voice uh, is nothing compared to the Google Now application. It's, uh, or you might, some of you might call it the, the Google app, just the regular Google search app. This app is far, far more better than S Voice. I use it way more uh, um, than S Voice. I don't even use S Voice at all. So we can also free up some memory uh, by completely getting rid of that uh, feature where S Voice pops up um, by going to settings. And same thing, the save, uh, hit the button, unchecking the open via the home key. And so right now we have nothing. You double tap, single tap, nothing happens. And you, again, you'll get a slight uh, speed bump from doing so. Uh, now a quick mention, um, I actually have another video showing how to uh, set up the uh, Google Now app to respond just like the S Voice app uh, by double tapping uh, on the home key. That link will be in the description um, it, under uh, the, the description section and um, that's pretty cool if you like it. I actually use that uh, myself. Uh, but anyway, this next method uh, of uh, speeding up the phone involves downloading a launcher and uh, I highly recommend a launcher. If you're not familiar with a launcher uh, that same video uh, that's referenced in this, that same video that I mentioned will be linked in this one, uh, describes the entire concept of a launcher. I highly recommend if you don't have any uh, launchers or if you're not rooted, I highly recommend you picking a launcher. I personally use the Nova launcher and uh, that's what we're going to do next. So let's go and I just hit it. 
This is what the um, settings look like under the Nova Launcher and it's much snappier than um, the standard TouchWiz. And so what you do, you go to settings, uh, one second here, make it the default launcher. And what you're going to do is go to the look and feel of the application and go to the scroll speed. And we're going to, it's already checked. It's faster than light. That's what we want to put it on. Same thing with the animation. We want to put that on faster than light. And uh, it'll essentially, it forgets the animations and it makes your overall experience much faster. And um, uh, you'll like it. It's, and of course, uh, any launcher is very customizable. Again, that link in the description. Um, but that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching.